unidentified aircraft in Lubbock airspace, please identify yourself. Oh my God. They say he crashed his truck. The thing is, if you saw his truck. Craziest thing I ever saw. It just don't make no sense. Power went out right when it happened, all over town. Ask around. V-shaped lights flying faster than a meteor. This blackout people been reporting, what do we know about that? Tied up our phone lines pretty good last night. Last night? Yeah, we've been traveling. We don't know anything about this. Mostly near the university. It's a regular ride on campus. If you believe that you have seen these strange lights in the sky, please raise your hands. This many witnesses. Since 1947, there have been over 1,200 confirmed sightings of strange objects in the sky just in America. General Valentine said you want to see this right away. Donald Kehoe. You call it a massive government cover-up. And that is why I do the work I do. Folks, you can find the whole story on newsstands now. Going down to 250 Mr. West Kehoe. 57. Come with us, hey. please. The next article you write for True Magazine or anybody else, we're going to read it first. You're going to write the stories we want you to write. Mr. Secretary. You authorize men to intimidate and terrify a journalist? Kehoe's a hack. We're not even sure he's nothing. He's an American citizen. In my eyes, that's more than enough. I will not tolerate lawless enterprise. Try it again, and I will tell the president all of your secrets. Gentlemen, I've solved the mystery of the Lubbock Lights. Having seen the photograph, the answer is quite obvious to anyone familiar with the local avian fauna. Plovers? Well, you see, the oily white breast of the plover serves as a, uh, a highly efficient reflective surface. So when a light shines on it from below, from the recently installed Mercury Vapor Street lamps along Hollister Avenue, hitting a flock in flight, you get, voila, a V-shaped alien armada. Hey, what the hell are you doing out here? Dr. Alan Hynek, this is Captain Quinn. We work for the United States Air Force. We had other men out here just last week doing like you are, right before the spaceships came. Other men? Commies, probably. Oh, here we go. You look like a commie to me. Everyone go back to your homes. There's nothing to see here. They're coming back. The flying sausage is coming back. What the hell just happened? What we're about to show you, you never saw. This is so far above your need to know, it might as well be on the moon. What you found in Texas was one of ours out of Randolph Air Force Base. It's a top secret military craft unofficially known as the V-Wing. That's your UFO. We need you to keep it out of the public eye. Keep it out of the public eye. Aren't you that? Top secret military craft? That is the cover story. You of all people should know it. There is no way that they You know, you've got to be the dumbest smart person I've ever met. Are you stocking up for the bomb shelter? Jack wants to be fully prepared for the end of the world. <gasps> Sounds like one of Joel's nightmares. What would you do if someone came knocking? Do you have any shelters in stock? We do. Why don't you get your hubby to drop by tomorrow so he and I can talk? It'll take some explaining. Why don't you bring one up and deliver it by morning so I can build my own bomb shelter before he gets home? Did I explain that clearly enough for you? Yes, ma'am. The way the world is, and every day it's something bad. Now here is Edward R. Murrow. The president says that we are forced into full-scale fighting in Korea. The United Nations broadcast says the resumption of the... I can't just wait for things to get better. So, I built the bomb shelter. They say he crashed his truck, but there's not a mark on it. You want to tell me what's on your mind? I'm wondering if Professor Hynek will one day be a problem that needs solving. 